Just driving out to Scotch College, about to watch the, uh, the second 15 team. They're playing Geelong in the semi-final today, so hopefully that can be a good luck charm for at least one of them anyway. So come check it out with me. All you've got to do today is repeat the stuff that we've been doing the whole time and do it to 100%, 100% application, focus on the 70 minutes from start to finish. You don't get to play many finals, they are special. I'm sure you all know James O'Connor. Down, please. Yeah. <laughs> Throw the ball around and uh, just be calm and just take it easy and just have fun out there. It's obviously a big semi-final here today for the second 15 yeah, and right. obviously they're going really well. A lot of new guys coming through, for me, so me as the first 15 coach, you know, good to see young guys coming through and you know, good for the future for Scotch Rugby. Let's go boys. I think it's fantastic that there's actually a team like the Rebels established here in Melbourne. I think rugby's always perhaps been a, slight, a lesser profile amongst the uh, secondary schools, so it's been just fantastic for them to have uh, mentors and those sort of examples. And to have this kind of interaction with them is so approachable. Who's the best player on their team? There was that one kid last night, just standing picking his head. <laughs> so it's a good, good sign. It's really cool that James came down because he can cheer us all on. You want to hold that wide there. You can get one or two more passes in and it's got a couple more tries. So, yeah. Good luck. Having James, James O'Connor down here is fantastic. And to be honest, he's not, not a lot older than probably some of the first 15 players. So yeah. they'll, they'll come in and it's another Saturday morning for them and they're looking forward to rugby and they come down here and wow, you know, look, look, look at this. There's a, there's a wallaby down here, down here at Scotch. So it's fantastic. Yeah.